Welcome back to Samsung Games, the place to find new strategy games, and today we're going to play Atomic Cards Demo. Now, this is a very interesting survival game in a post-apocalyptic world, where it has some card elements, but it's not a... It's definitely a deck builder, but it's not a typical deck builder. It has some, a lot of unique stuff. So first we create our character, and then we, we only have one available. Jir is a true materialist, a tireless scientist who continues to search for answers to the questions of the universe, even being on the bones of a human civilization. Jir is lucky and smart, he uses his skills for research and social contact, but is not as effective in battle as other characters. Now I'm gonna name him after one of my patrons, so this is actually Andre. Now, strength affects damage from melee weapons. Agility affects the number of action points spent for a turn with the weapons that have the agility parameter. So different weapons are sort of tied to different parameters and then how much they cost you to use is depending on your uh, parameter here. Luck affects the chance of successful enemy intimidation and um, how many supplies you get, etc. Survival affects some choices you can make in the game and intelligence as well and also how you can persuade enemies. Here you have indicators, your health, hunger, thirst, mind, and hygiene. And these affect these different parameters. So you start off with this setup, but then it changes depending on these indicators. So let's go. How these indicators change the parameters we're gonna uh, go through in a moment. So this is where we play most of the game. So here we have our two slots for uh, our armor and our main weapon. Uh, and you all have different cards in your deck that you can move in there. Now, first, let's go to the indicator. So our health indicator affects the strength, and if it gets to zero, it's game over. We can fix it with, me with medication. Hunger does not affect any parameter, but if it's a low value, we will lose health. Thirst affects agility, and if it's low value, we'll start losing health. Mind affects survival and intelligence, and if it's low, then we're going to do bad things to ourselves. We'll make bad decisions. And hygiene affects luck, and if it's a low value, we might get sick. And you can also get different injuries. You can get a toxin infection, which reduces your health and hygiene. You can get a blood loss, which causes a rapid decrease of health. A cold, which will make you lose your strength parameter. Poisoning, which reduces all indicators except for hygiene and hunger. Break, which reduces your health indicator and slows you down. And loss of limb, which will cause bleeding and affect your agility. Now, temperature affects the, the season time of the day. It's always colder at night, and hypothermia can cause you to catch cold. Use a campfire to maintain a safe temperature. So here's a map. The main ways to interact with the world move by... Um, we can move by clicking there. In order to get to the area, we have to move the character outside the map. And then in order to move further, we need to go here into the shelter we can open quest and unlocks map necessary for survival but for that we need to have a certain amount of the right resources so for example we need to have like uh enough food in order to be able to unlock the card and then if you unlock them all you'll win the game so we can't really change any of these just yet because we just don't have another card so we're just gonna start by moving around let's move to over here you feel uncomfortable due to poor hygiene you could swim in the pond but there's a risk to get cold I don't have a bad hygiene, so I'm just gonna leave it. Let's move down here to some sort of an event. In one of the abandoned cellars, we find a bottle of vodka. Without hesitation, you empty the bottle in one gulp and quickly disappear into unconsciousness. When you wake up the next morning, you find yourself naked somewhere in the middle of a waste well. There's not a soul around you, but for some reason, someone's underpants and thorn racks are lying next to you. One way or another, it doesn't matter, and therefore you get tired by taking your things. Okay. Can I wear something? No, I just got experience. So let's do the other event. A small downpour has begun, because of which you have to hide under the crown of a tree, so as not to get wet and not to be irradiated. After some time, the rain ends and an unusual picture appears in the sky. A real rainbow has grown high above your head, although almost all colors in it have faded to a blue scale. It's okay, because it's still very beautiful. This is because we have certain luck. If our luck been not that high, we wouldn't get that effect. Now here, these are caches that allow you to get some resources or different stuff. So here, we're going to try to open this. And we're going to gain some... We actually found nothing. Okay. So let's move up here. Now, once it starts getting cold, we might want to go to the campfire. But I don't think we want to do that just yet. 
Oh, nothing again. Unfortunate. My luck is turned. Come on, give me at least a little bit of food or something. Nothing! I guess we'll go to the campfire now. Suddenly a feeling of hunger rushed over you. Incidentally, you spotted a wild boar at the edge of the wasteland. Sure, let's go and attack it. I'm gonna fight. So, we're gonna fight a boar. Unfortunately, we're gonna get affected by toxins. This is a card that will automatically affect you and you can't do much about it. But otherwise, we can click on these cards and use them to fight. So, our enemy has an attack of 8 and a health of 11. So, if we actually use our screwdriver, we'll be able to kill him before he hits us. So, I'm gonna use it and attack the boar. Okay, we killed it. Now, how much this card costs is this on the left? We have 10 action points total and we used 7 to attack him. And the boar died. Did we get some food from it? Let's see. We got 6 food. Well, let's go to the second bonfire and then we'll try to move out of the map. The long walk in the scorching sun has drained. You need to replenish water reserves in the body. It seems that a nearby dark green puddle can help with this. Sure, let's drink dirty water. We lost health, but we aren't sick, which is probably more important than anything else. I am going to eat just to replenish my hunger. Right. And we move into a new map. So we've got some enemies that we could go to, but I'm first going to move towards this cache so that we can uh, get hopefully some good stuff. Okay, we found some medicine. Let's go, let's go to the campfire, whatever this is. Walking on wet and cold soil for long may damage your feet with trench food, but thanks to the intelligence, you're able to create a moisture resistant clothing. Amazing. Ooh. So I can now wear overalls here, which uh, I can equip it or not, so I'm definitely gonna equip it. And this is going to give me protection, and it's gonna cost me some now. I definitely need to eat because doing this took a lot for me. So let's move down here and let's see what we can find in this cache. Nothing. Now uh, some enemies just randomly pop up as you move around. Okay. If you feel uncomfortable due to poor hygiene, you could swim in the pond. Sure. Great, that helped us out. Let's move up here. Gonna need to okay, so now. You, we need luck 5 to run away. I don't have luck 5, so I'm just going to click OK. And we're going to fight. We're fighting rats. Beer. What does this do? So beer, what this does, so each card has an effect, right? And uh, for example, with the screwdriver, it's other obvious. The effect is for attack, and this flags mean intimidation. Now with beer, I could do 46 intimidation and 33 apparently healing to myself. I don't think I'm going to do it. It's interesting that the overlaurels, they should give me two protection, but it doesn't say so. You normally have protection here, which allows you to, well, um, hit the enemy. Now I can right click to try to get a new set of cards. So we're going to keep hitting, using the screwdriver and a fist. I can use a fist. Okay. So we'll use the screwdrivers to attack two of these rats. I'll use the first one to attack the first rat. And I'll use the second one to attack the first rat as well. And now these other two are going to both hit me, most likely. Yeah. You get hit a little bit. Right. Now we've got 10 action points again. So I'm going to use a screwdriver and a fist. And I'm going to give myself protection with the overalls. So we're going to start with... I'm going to start with overalls. Ooh, we're getting sick because it's cold. Okay, how do I just... Um, I just want to go... Then it's impossible playing table is full. Okay, so we're gonna just attack the rat. With our screwdriver and our fist. And then we'll get the overalls which will give us some sort of a protection. Okay. Next 
Next, I want to use my screwdriver, and that's actually all I need to do. So let's just do it over here. Let's kill it, and we're going now. We also a lot of health, which, as you can see, changed my strength. So now my strength is zero. So actually, we don't do as much damage from my regular stuff because we, we have lowered strength. So I definitely need to use medicine. I would love to eat some food to help with my hunger, but I don't have any. Please tell me there's some food here. That's ammo. We'll move up there. Help you get some ammo there. I'm gonna use up a little bit more medicine. Passing the graveyard, you accidentally found a crowd of rotten ghouls which did graze with their claws and eat the dead corpses. When you get your weapon up, they immediately rush to you. Hmm, this is gonna be tough. Actually, no. I think I'm gonna start with the overalls. And a fist. Oh, morality. Does that allow me to heal myself? I'm gonna... I don't know if I'm gonna try it right now. I guess I'll try it. Just see what happens. Okay. So attack this ghoul. Um. Attack him with our fist, which isn't gonna do much damage. But I just, oh, we got a critical, um. but that's gonna do two damage instead of one. I don't know what the morality does. I'm assuming um. it heals me. Yeah, I think it heals me. Enemy is sword, so scared, so it uh, too scared to make a turn. And but the other one did hit us. Okay. So next we want to use a fist. I'm gonna reroll this because I'd really like this turn to Yeah, let's just use the regular screwdriver. Okay, so we'll use our fists on the first one. And then we'll use our screwdriver on the second one. It should kill him immediately, great. And this one is most, most likely still too scared, so he's not, he's not gonna hit us, which is amazing. Fantastic. So let's get a screwdriver. Overalls and fists. And then for um. three, we get ourselves some protection um. and hit him with our fist. Um. Pretty cool. Okay, he's scared again. Now we can just use regular screwdriver to finish him off. Okay. Beautiful. Um. Okay. Now we are sick, which is not ideal. Okay, we now leveled up. So we get beer armor enough, which gives us 8 protection and 3, I guess, uh, warm. So we definitely want to take that. So this will allow us in combat to use that to um, warm ourselves up. Let's try to go here. I think we're probably going to go towards the event and then towards the, the campfire and hope that we can get something good there. Why am I not getting anything here? Okay, I guess I can't get there. It's weird. I guess we'll go to the camp right now. For some reason we can't get anything here. I actually need to move. Let's move to another place because we weren't getting anything there. It's just super weird. Where am I? Well, I can go to this home. Yeah, okay, please. I, I need food. I'm very hungry. I'm starving. Come on, food, food, food. Yes. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna immediately eat. I need to. I'm gonna eat up all of my stuff, but I need to. Let's move again, then let's move towards the house. We'll see what happens there. You walk calmly past an abandoned town. You can pick up some voices and you go to the sound. Once on the spot, you see several creatures sitting around the fire and talking about something. The creatures have a humanoid shape and darkened silhouettes, but who they are is unclear. Since it is not possible to understand something, you leave this strange place and hurry to leave. We run away with our luck, so let's go towards this house. Ooh, can we try to unlock it with the key? I did it! In a small deserted village you have taken a closer look at a two-story mansion which you entered by breaking a window on the first floor. Inside there were some useful supplies that will definitely come in handy on your difficult journey. Great. And we got a knife which I could substitute for my... Oh, what is this? Does this just change it or does it allow me to... We roll... Yeah, we can either keep the screwdriver with 3 attack and 21 intimidation or knife with 5 attack and 21 intimidation. Absolutely want the knife. Let's keep eating. Okay, let's, let's move to get some more resources. 
You need to fix that cold. I'm going to have to use more medicine, I think. Yeah, let's try to use up some medicine. That's not going to change the effect. I do think you either need to warm up or use the medicine. Maybe we need to go to like a specific place to fix the cold. Or we might need to use more medicine, but I don't want to use too much of it. If you feel uncomfortable due to poor hygiene, you can swim in the pond. Absolutely. I already have a cold, so I don't really care if I'm going to get even colder, which is not how it works, but that's how it works for us. When you were walking peacefully in the area, a bad mongrel unexpectedly stood in your way, which growls menacingly and grins in your direction. Let's go fight it. Car dog. I'm going to start with overalls and then the knife. Ooh, this knife does 15 damage. You can't actually unclick this. If I could, I would just move it away because this is a way better attack. But... And I guess we'll use morality because it's free. So we'll start by attacking the dog. Well, actually, by getting ourselves protection. Not get... Oh, we get a critical, so we already killed the dog. Great. Can I still do the morality thing or no? It doesn't look like it. So you might want to actually use the morality first. Just so you can get that effect. Regardless, I think this is a good time to end the episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, write down in the comments. And you can click on the right towards some other games if you're on this channel. I'll see you there. Bye-bye.